Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for Tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop, Lightroom, Photoshop Elements, and Adobe Camera Raw. And now, of course, Photoshop Touch. And indeed, that's what we're looking at today. We're looking at the relationship between Photoshop Touch and Photoshop. So here we go. I've got Photoshop Touch running on an iPad, but it runs on other tablets as well, of course. Let's just very quickly do a very quick edit. I'm going to open a new document, and I see I've got uh, three photographs here. Let's go for the Sean Small PSD. So this is a Photoshop document. I'm going to add that in. Sure enough, it's downloading from the Creative Cloud. And then it's going to open up in Photoshop Touch. So here we are. Now all I'm going to do here is just put a very quick vignette onto this photograph. This can be done in a couple of ways. I'll show you just one of them. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to make an empty layer. And I'm done with that. Then I'm going to fill that with 50% grey, which is already set up. But all I have to do is press this. And you can see I can change the brightness to 50%. And click OK, or the tick. And then change this layer from Normal to Overlay. Good. Now let's go to the effects and to the basic tab and lighting. And I can use a very simple point light here, which I can change to my desire. There we go. Change how bright it is, of course. And there are other settings in here as well. All I've got to do is just scooch that up a little bit and you can see there's other bits and bobs I can have a bit of a play with, get the feel that I want. A bump layer, I don't have another layer, so that's going to be irrelevant as to his intensity because I'm on overlay. And I'm going to click the tick, and sure enough, there we are. So I'm quite happy with that. Let's reduce the opacity maybe just a little bit. Take this down to maybe 75%, a little bit higher. There we go, 87% is what I've decided on. And we can save this out. I'm just going to click on the arrow at the top left hand corner here and say save. And off it goes, does its business. And now that's saving to the Creative Cloud as untitled. It's going to take a minute, depending on your internet connection, of course. And there we are, we're all done. Now, when I get back to the office, I can have a look at my PC and at the Creative Cloud, and I can have a look at that image on the PC via Photoshop. And let's see how that's done. So here we are, we're back at the desk, and I've made sure that I've downloaded the Touch App plugins from the Creative Cloud. Without doing that, the next step won't work. And in Photoshop, I can go to File and Open, and sure enough, I've got my Creative Cloud files already available to me. Now, these will automatically sync with the Creative Cloud, and you can see that I've got my untitled PSDX file there. PSDX being the file type that is saved from Photoshop Touch. So let's go and click on that and we can open that up into Photoshop. And there are our two layers as we created on Photoshop Touch. We have our background and we have our vignette. And if you look at the settings of the vignette, indeed the opacity is set to 87% and the blend mode is an overlay. So everything's been transferred over and I can carry on working to my heart's content. So there we go, taking images from Photoshop Touch into Photoshop via the Creative Cloud. I'm Eric Reno. Make sure you check out all the tutorials at tipsquirrel.com. Absolutely 100% free. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.